Hello, YouTube Z B B B B. How are you? Hi, D eyes. Hi, Bootsy. Um, I want to go in a little more depth about myself here. First of all, not phony. And uh, well, I could tell you this: 2014 was not a good year for me. It was not. Um. My sister had passed away in 2014, and me and my older sister, we were very close. And the only thing is, is that, you know, I regret pretty much that I didn't get to spend Thanksgiving with her because I was too busy jawjacking with a family member, and I lost track of time, and I never showed up for Thanksgiving. And that really made me feel bad, but my sister was not raw about it. And... My sister died February 25th, 2014. And, you know, there were some people that said, well, if, since your sister passed, you ought to cash in. And it's like, <clears throat> cash in the what? Well, her job, she had insurance, she had money. And I go, look, that was my sister. And the point is, you know, the thing is, like they always say, in family, where there's a will, there's a relative. Not a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a relative. I did not want any of her money because my sister, she was married. Her, her wife, yes, that's right. I said her wife. Yeah, my sister was gay. I loved my sister. And, you know, the thing is, she had money stashed away. And she had money from her paycheck, from her jobs, her job, actually. She really worked hard, and she provided for her adopted son. She really did, who's now 22 years old now. Jeez, hold on, beer. Ugh. So here's the thing. Everybody was saying that, I should cash in on a little money. And I told him, no. I know. Because, you know, honestly, it, you know, anytime somebody gets married, you know, there's not much to say. It's like, oh, two people just got married. But then when a person dies, people look for the almighty dollar. They look for money. You know, see, one thing about me is I can't be bought like that. I cannot. Matter of fact, I can't be bought at all like that. You know, my sister had money saved. She had a couple of thousands of dollars saved. And she had her final paycheck, which went to her wife. And the thing is, you know, her wife even asked me, did I want any of that money? I go, no. I don't care if she has at least $10,000, you know, and her final paycheck. You keep all that money. You keep that. And you... You keep that, and you keep my sister's ashes close to you if you can. If not, if you want to spread them, that's your choice. And you see, most people said that I was stupid for not cashing in on that. And I told them, look, that was my sister, okay? You know, yes, I haven't cried. And I haven't smoked a cigarette in a long time. I don't smoke cigarettes. I quit. There's a reason. But on her day that she passed when I got home I had a cigarette and I smoked and you know the thing is it's like I can't you know things like that you never really prepare for never death is something that you never prepare for that's one reason why I do not like going to funerals so look at it this way whenever somebody passes away you know don't go looking for money that only makes you look like an ass. So what I did was, um, my sister's paycheck, which was about $2,100, um, I signed it over to her wife. I told her, you keep that. And the money that my sister had left over, uh-uh. I told her, I did not want one cent. You take that money and you take care of yourself. You know, I'm already working. I'm already doing what I got to do. You know, my sister would want me to do that. And, you know, 
that's the reason why, why I'm saying, you know, beware of phony people. Phony people do not want to help you. They want to cash in on stuff because, number one, you know, they see it as an easy meal ticket. That's why I see their phony smiles. Like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, it's good to see you, Mark. You know, when they put their teeth together like that, you see? Me, just like D.I.'s, just like Bootsy on the beat, just like Trey 5-7, you know, we zoom in on body language. And when a person reeks of nasty, smelly body language, that means that they are no good in your circle of friends. So, you know, basically, I know what I did was the right thing. I know what I did. And the point is, my sister would be very proud of me about that. My older sister. She's turning 58. 58 on August 1st. You know, happy birthday, sis. Love you. Miss you. But just remember... Beware of phoniness, you know? I don't I don't like being phony. If a person wants to know something about me, I'll tell them. You know? Are you an asshole? Yeah, I can be an asshole, but I'm not right now. So, you know, just beware of all that, you know, and frankly, ooh, excuse me, burp. You know, just 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 live your life. Mind your own business, live your life. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. And that's how you live a good life. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to D.I.'s channel. And there better not be no nasty comments on her channel. Because number one, D.I.'s is genuine. And I like D.I.'s. I think D.I.'s is the best person in the whole world. She really is. And I am glad to be her friend. And you know... Honestly, if it was still the pandemic, well, it is still kind of, you know, is videos like hers, Trey 57s T Electric, that got me through these lockdowns. And hopefully there's no more lockdowns because, man, it's going to be straight chaos. And who knows, maybe I'll be part of it. But other than that, take care of yourselves and be cool. Later.